Well, hello there, and good evening, everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from South Jackson, Tennessee, also known as Bemis, Tennessee. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, ready to uh, share with you uh, today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days here in just a few moments. I thought I'd go ahead and start with the climate data first and uh, sort of take it from there. As of 5 p.m. here in the Bemis area, the skies were clear. The temperature was 85 degrees at that time. The hum dew point was 67 degrees. The humidity was at 55%. And the winds were out of the west at 13 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 29.75 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature in Bemis was 68 degrees. Today's high was 86 degrees. Uh, and I had two hundredths of an inch of rainfall here since midnight. By the way, I had uh, 87 hundredths of an inch of rain here yesterday up to midnight. All right. Uh, the uh, lowest... Uh, uh, humidity was, uh, I can't read my own writing, about <laughs> 55%, okay, and that was at 3 through 5 p.m., where the highest would be 100%, and that was at 12 a.m. The dew point lowest temperature today was 66 degrees at uh, 2 through 4 p.m., well, the highest was 70 degrees at 12 and 9 a.m. Lowest barometric pressure today, 29.75 inches of mercury, and that was at 12 and 3 a.m. Well, the highest would be 29.79 inches of mercury, and that occurred at 12, 8, 9, and 11 a.m., and then again at 12 and 1 p.m. Uh, earlier today. Today's highest wind gust was 26 miles per hour, uh, and that occurred at 3 p.m. By the way, yesterday's highest wind gust, uh, when those heavy storms moved through, was, uh, I believe, was northwest at 35 miles per hour. And that was right around the 6 p.m. hour yesterday evening when uh, that happened. Madison County was under a severe thunderstorm warning during the 5 and 6 p.m. hour yesterday uh, evening. Alrighty, uh, the records for today, June the 22nd, hottest time would be uh, 100 degrees in 1988. Uh, the coolest time would be 79 degrees in 1992, while the warmest low would be 77 degrees in 1952. And the coldest low would be 47 degrees, and that occurred in 1992. Today's rainfall record would be 2.30 inches, and that fell in 1997. Alrighty, let me show you a couple of graphs here, and that would be it for tonight. First of all, let's look at the uh, radar, National Weather Service's radar. And it's clear for around the Jackson area for the most part. As you can see, nothing going on around here. And uh, I believe uh, anywhere nearby too. The only rain nearby, if you can call it nearby, is way up there in, um, I believe, uh, I fixed it to where it's supposed to be moving. I thought I had it fixed. Well, never mind. Up there near Union City, there might be a few sprinkles up in that area, up in O'Brien County. It's moving east, uh, but nothing here in Jackson. That blue stuff there you see is false echoes. So here, basically, it's clear here in Jackson. All right, let's move on to the satellite picture, uh, which is also clear at the moment, as you can see. The clouds to our south, down in Mississippi and Alabama, but they are not moving in our direction. Basically, it's uh, clear around here, and it should remain so till about noon tomorrow, roughly. Uh, looks, uh, let's look at the current surface map, and uh, 
there you see uh, where the funnel systems are and there's a cold front stretching right down through Tennessee at the moment down through middle Tennessee and there's a front the uh, fronts to uh, north a few low pressure systems there as you can see a trough and that front through Tennessee stretches on down there's a stationary front on to the west uh, down the Mississippi and on west rail over there into New Mexico that area of rain over there and, and the uh, Kansas area may be affecting us by Sunday. And that's the latest uh, projection anyways. Now you see the other highs and lows and where they are across the country as of this evening. Alright, look at the, tonight's forecast right quick like. It looks like uh, we're in for a uh, clear sky for the most part tonight and it will continue to about lunch tomorrow. The sunset tonight at 8.15 p.m. Uh, it'll be rising tomorrow morning at uh, uh, at 5.40 a.m. And uh, let me do something here. Okay, there we go. It'll be rising tomorrow morning at 5.40 a.m. The moon will uh, be setting tomorrow morning at uh, 2.15 a.m. <coughs> We're, and speaking of tomorrow, Saturday, it's going to be fair skies, like I mentioned, till about noon. Then, then it'll become very, very cloudy. There's a 50% chance of some more showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, possibly tomorrow evening as well. Low near 66 degrees here in Jackson, or Bemis, and high tomorrow about 86 degrees. We'll have southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Again, the sun will be rising at 5.40 a.m. tomorrow morning and set at uh, 8.14 uh, p.m. The moon will be rising tomorrow afternoon at 4.11 p.m. and be setting at 2.48 a.m. Sunday morning. And Sunday, it should be mostly cloudy with an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms on and off on Sunday, but clearing up by Sunday night and becoming fair. Low near 71, high of 85, with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And on into Monday, very be cloudy, with a 50% chance of some showers and thunderstorms till about noon, then becoming mostly fair. Low near 71, high of 91, with southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. I'm going to cut it at that for tonight, just uh, because I'm running a little late than usual. But otherwise, again, fair skies here in Jackson overnight till at least lunch tomorrow. Then becoming very big cloudy with a 50% chance of some more showers and thunderstorms on a scattered basis, of course. Low again near 66, high tomorrow of 86. Well, alrighty, that's it for tonight. Uh, <clears throat> I appreciate you watching and uh, listening and tuning in and uh, subscribing and all that good information stuff there and uh, thank you god bless you and good night talk to you later